preview. Uh, one of the big things with paper charts that we have problems with is paper charts go missing. Um, sometimes it's hard to track down paper charts when you have someone come in. Um, it, it's sort of very outdated, especially with handwriting as well. Sometimes paper notes are hard to read or paper orders are hard to read. I think it simplifies things quite a lot going digital. Currently one of the challenges we face is having one chart um, and one hard copy that only one person at a time can access. Quite often um, ranging multidisciplinary teams might have the chart limiting our access um, and that might be the patient end of bed chart and observations and medications for them um, and it also means documenting events as they happen um, and we're unable to do that at the moment while one person has that chart so it will definitely improve that issue. There is a lot of time um, involved in looking for patients charts um, you can spend a lot of your day um, looking for patient information because there are a lot of people involved in that patient's care. The benefit of going digital is that a patient's care record is updated and everybody has access to it. So there's going to be more time to be able to spend next to the patient um, and less time having to look for charts. Everybody has got that information right there at the bedside. Legibility of doctor's handwriting is the big one. If you ask most people about introducing an electronic medical record, that is the number one thing that they will say. Um, but in all seriousness, it, it will make a big difference to be able to accurately read what someone has written and therefore there will be reduced um, patient incidence base because people won't be then guessing or it won't take so long to then find that person that's made that entry to then clarify what's actually written.